school that I teach in is Dragonflies Preschool and we're high school. We're working towards high school certification. We do problem solving and we do what's called plan do review. So they, they make a plan and then they go and they do it in their work time and then we come back and we recall. We read stories and most of the time it's a big fight over who's going to sit on my lap or sit around me or if they want to sit or stand. I'm interacting with them the whole time and helping them solve problems and just go about their day. It's just the love, the love that they have. They're just pure, innocent, cute little children and they just love and they're so um, accepting. They don't even see my wheelchair or anything and I think it's so great that they have that at such a young age. I did my early childhood care and education program and I did it through Capilano University in North Vancouver. It took me 10 months, I did it full time, but you can also do it part time. That's two days a week in the evening for two years. You can kind of set your own practicum hours. I graduated from my ECE in 2003 and I worked till the end of July 03 and then I had my accident. So I was off for a couple years and then I, got, I started subbing right after that. So 2005, I got back into it. And then I subbed for a year and I started back in the position that I'm in now in 2007. Any obstacles I've had have mostly just been kind of the setup of the classroom and just making sure I can get around. But like, it's just all about um, your coworkers helping you with that and, and knowing like what they can do to help you and, and just having the communication. So I, I don't think, like it, it's never been an issue. Like they're very good and, and just because I may have struggles with certain things and some things may be a little more challenging, but the other things that I make up for is, is erased. I would say go and, and volunteer in a, in a preschool or a daycare setting and just see if you love it and, and then like we're always, we love it when people come to volunteer, we're always wanting an extra hand, definitely, and then you can see if you love it and from there um, the teachers in the program can point you in the right direction for where to do your schooling or just any sort of training. They always have postings when you do your schooling and they always have like um, job postings, sub postings and stuff like that when you, as you're going through the position. And a lot of people get jobs through their practicums because there's always um, such a shortage of early childhood educators. It's very easy to, to think that, oh, I can't do it or, oh, I can't go back to work. Um, but it gives you so much knowing that you are needed somewhere and there's children waiting for you. And knowing that you're, you have somewhere to be and it's something that you love, that's huge. You're working and you're making a difference. I think um, no matter what it is, when it, whether it's teaching or you're working in an office, don't give up. Do it. You can do it. And um, the outcome is, is priceless.